All right, middle-aged white guy reacts is back with another Tom McDonald. I wasn't going to do another one tonight um, or today, but I saw what was next. And I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty heavy song. And if I'm going to be emotionally drained after a song, I'd rather do it at night than start my day off tomorrow morning emotionally drained. So I'm going to do this one to get it out of the way i don't even know i don't even know if i'll be able to get through this we'll see all right tom killing me here man everybody knows someone who's sick 40 percent will get cancer only half's gonna live your mom and your dad and your sister stand inside a room and someone won't survive it you hope it isn't you i swear that cancer has a cure but they're refusing to make it they've done like 40 years of research 90 billion in donations we've been running for the mm. okay this is gonna take a minute he's absolutely right all right i, I don't know about like specific cure okay but if you haven't followed my channel i'm in the medical field i'm an x-ray tech um, I have worked for several hospitals, okay? The staff that treats you every day care. We care and we're genuinely there for the patient, okay? The nurses, the x-ray techs, the phlebotomists, the physical therapists, and most of the doctors, they, their goal is to treat the patient and, you know, make you feel better okay that's what we want to do we want to help people we genuinely want to help people now not every single one of us but a large majority okay unfortunately there is a layer of bureaucracy over top the hospitals that are detached from the patient care all right there's a bunch of suits who went to business schools and have mbas and they don't treat the patients they don't interact with the patients they don't stay at the hospitals they're in corporate offices downtown all right and they sit there and they run numbers and they look at you know insurance costs and you know the fucking penny pinchers and that's what they do so you know i um get a lot of students in the one hospital um i'm at and you know i tell them straight up The, the purpose of, you know, hospitals are a business. At the end of the day, medicine is a business. Okay, a hospital's purpose is to make money. And if this, the side effect of making money is people get helped along the way, that's great. That's not the goal, though. The goal of a hospital isn't to help people. It's to make money. I'm sure they have, you know, something. I'm sure they have something. There, there's no, there's no use in releasing anything. There's too much money in the treatment. There's too much. You know how much radiation therapy costs. You know how much chemo costs. You know, if you just have like a shot that you can give people, and it clears it up, how much can you reasonably charge them for that? A couple thousand dollars. You know the the CT scan to to monitor. The progress of your cancer is three grand a pop, minimum. Minimum. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's disgusting. It, uh, you know, in hospitals, I've, uh, the one place I was at, fired an amazing ER doctor. Do you know why they fired him? Because he wasn't ordering enough tests that made the hospital money. Okay, and then you get these idiot doctors who come in and they, order all sorts of x-rays that are unnecessary they're having me radiate you know five six seven year old children unnecessarily you know and that doctor went in he looked at the patient he felt them he you know had him do stuff and would be like yeah i think you know just a sprain i can tell because of this or that he manipulated the patient you know he didn't just like say oh what they have arm pain well you know give me a hand wrist forearm elbow humerus you know it's like I, you don't need all those x-rays man you don't need it. But the hospital loves that. They love that. They make money hand over fist. All right. I cover my shift in 
my first patient. I cover the cost of my shift for the hospital and my first patient. And then I made that money. You know, the, the, the first chest x-ray I do, which is just two quick pictures, one from uh, back to from the back to the uh, film, essentially. Um, and then another one coming with the x-rays coming from the side to the film. It's two quick shots. It takes me five minutes. I just made him 500 bucks. You know, I mean, it is what it is. All right. That's what I have to say about that. Let's keep going. Karen wearing ribbons for ages. Why are people still going through radiation? It's crazy. Hundred billion dollar industry, they can't afford to end it, and nobody wants to die. Our only option is to spend it. We'd give anything to stick around for just another second. Give a fortune to the doctors who promise they can extend it. The profits are astronomic. The hospitals and the clinics are filling coffins with dollars. It's awful. Let's just admit it. We're all human. We'll keep fighting. I live it every day. We survive. I live it every day. Every day. But it's scary because we don't know where we'll go when we die. matters if you don't have your health yeah i think we all have the family members and you know people who have passed from this so yeah a lot of money in the world doesn't help the good might go to heaven and the bad might go to hell but no one wants to leave here you can tell and cancer touches everyone, it's in our genetics And our world's become so toxic, it's all carcinogenic We've polluted the water, the air, the food we're ingesting Is full of hormones and poison, our population's infected They sell us cigarettes and liquor, built a business on addictions We've been paying them to kill ourselves, we're dying to keep living It's the system, it's a prison, we keep trying to beat it We get cancer from keeping all of our demons a secret And our insurance don't cover the things we need to defeat it And even if it does, then we might die from the treatment our best defense is living like we do not know what cancer is fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this Choose to fight when you're afraid And you can't experience strength Till you struggle to carry the weight And you won't know why you have faith Till you look the devil in his face And you don't know what you can take Till you realize you didn't break I know I wouldn't be able to do this one. God. Oh. That's all I got for you guys. Sorry.